my name is Michaela and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a little bit of a play around with some makeup. I have no idea what look I'm going to create but I did just change around my filming like setup and everything so I just felt a little bit inspired to have a play around with makeup and I also feel like it's been a little while since I've done that because a lot of the videos on my channel at the moment have been like more fashion related so I just wanted to have a play around with makeup since it has been a little bit since I've done that so if you guys are interested then please keep watching. I hope this um camera angle is okay um I know it's like a little bit like quite high and there's a lot of like space above my head here um I just needed it a little bit higher because I might have my mirror in front of me and so I didn't want to I didn't want like my mirror to be in the like frame so I apologize for the like awkward you know angle the first thing that I'm going to use is the MAC strobe cream. Um, this one's actually the body lotion, but I use it on my face as well. You probably maybe shouldn't do it if you have like sensitive skin, but my skin tends to be pretty fine. I love applying this all over. It's a moisturizer, but it contains like pearlized pigments. So it creates like a really nice glow on your skin. And I just like love it everywhere. For primer, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer and I focus it mostly on like the center of my face and then kind of like blend it out. For my brows, I'm going to use the Morphe Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Java. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the MAC False Lash Maximizer uh, just to add some like texture and thickness to my brow hairs. I love this stuff, it's actually like the best invention ever. And then I'm going to go over with um, some of the Morphe Translucent Brow Gel just because the False Lash Maximizer is a little bit white. So I want to obviously make sure that you can't see any colour there. Alright, and that is my brows done. I'm going to move on to concealer. I'm going to use the shade Fair Neutral. Mm, actually, no, I'm going to use the... I'm going to use the Light Neutral Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to carve out my brows. And then I'll mix a little bit of the Fair Neutral uh, across my eyelid as my eyeshadow base. I'm going to pop a tiny bit of the light neutral on my eyelid and then I'm also going to put a little bit of the fair neutral as well. And then I'm just going to take this big like buffing concealer brush and just blend that out. For my eyes, I'm going to use the Makeup With Jar Clientele Palette and then I'm also going to use the Me, Myself and Mitchell Palette. I want to go for something that's like a real sort of like chocolatey brown, like not too warm. So I'm going to dip into Sandy from the Clientele Palette and I'm also going to mix it with a little bit of Modest from the Mitchell palette and use that as my transition. Yeah. Mm. 
Now I'm going to blend out the edges just using a little bit of Modest and also a little bit of Peach Out from the Clientele palette. So I'm grabbing this really small like tapered um, Morphe brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Man Made from the Mitchell palette. And I'm just going to start buffing that right into the outer corner and bringing it all the way across to the inner corner as well. I'm going to mix Man Made actually with a little bit of brownie. I'm going to add a little bit more depth using too much from the clientele palette. I'm grabbing the exact same brush but a clean one and I'm going to go in with the shade Dirty Tan from the clientele palette and just start buffing out those edges. I think I'm happy with how that's looking so far, so I'm just going to quickly catch up the other eye. I am now going to mix a little bit of black, so I'm going to go in with the shade Just Black from the Clientele palette and just add a little bit more depth in the outer corners. Now I'm going to cover my crease using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to use the shade Fair Neutral to cover my crease. I am now adding a little bit of the shade Ashar just across the Tarte Shape Tape just to set it in place. And now I'm going to go in with the shade Man Made from the Mitchell palette and just start blending the darker shadow back into the cut crease. So I'm just blending it kind of like on an angle and then I'm actually going to blend this Man Made shade right across my lash line all the way to the inner corner. And then I'm going in with the shade Too Much and I'm just going to add that dip back into the outer corner and I'm dipping a little bit of Just Black with it. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the MAC Black Track Pro Long Wear Fluid Line and just align the top of my lash line. For mascara, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Mascara. So I think before I apply lashes, I think I'm going to add a little bit of this. It's by Urban Decay. It's called the Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner and it's in the shade Starfire. It's this really nice like bronzy color. And I think I kind of want to add it just around the edge of my crease here. I've been doing that actually a lot, outlining my crease. Let's give this a go. It's quite nice, actually. For lashes, I'm using the Lust Lash Collective Lashes and these are in the shade Lust Lash. These ones here are so pretty. They're super like fluffy and wispy looking, which is what I love in lashes. For foundation, I'm going to use the Studio Fix Fluid. I'm going to mix a little bit, I'm going to use predominantly NC25, but I'm going to mix a tiny bit of a darker shade with it as well. It has literally been like the longest time in the entire world since I've used this foundation. Like, it used to be what I would wear 
all the time but recently I've like been using a lot more of my like Fenty Beauty and uh, like Huda Beauty um, foundations and stuff rather than this one. I kind of almost like forget what the coverage and everything is like. Oh, you can never forget that smell. If you guys have tried the MAC Studio Fix fluid before, you would know it has a very like distinctive smell to it. And it's funny because a lot of people either love it and are like obsessed with the smell or you hate it. It's like one or the other. It has a very, very distinctive smell. For concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. Oh my god, look at this lighting right now. It is absolutely ridiculous. The sun is in like the most awkward spot right now. Can you just like hurry up and go down please? Thank you. See ya. Oh, so annoying. Maybe I'll move my... Ouch! I don't really know if that's going to do anything, but... I literally cannot even see myself in the viewfinder right now because it's so like bright in here. But it will just try anyway. To contour my nose, I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Stick in the shade NC50. I'm just going to pop a little bit of my concealer just right next to it just so I can make sure that it's very clean edges. There's something for me about nose contour that just like completes the way that the makeup looks. I literally cannot do my makeup without contouring my nose now, which I know sounds absolutely ridiculous um, <laughs> because it's just like another thing that you have to do when you do your makeup. But honestly, it just makes me like enjoy my makeup so much more. Wow, that was really um, lame. <laughs> now I'm gonna do um, a little bit of contouring on my cheeks. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty uh, Matchstick in the shade Truffle. Um, I'm not going to apply it directly to my face. I'm going to actually use a big fluffy like dense foundation brush. Just take it directly to the product and then I'm going to contour that way. So I'm just going to contour my cheeks. I like to do it this way because I don't like to apply too much product directly to the skin and I don't like to like ruin the foundation or anything like that that's underneath. I sort of like to start really light and then like build it up if I want to, whereas going directly in with like a contouring product can be a little bit risky, well, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm just, I don't trust how it's going to like blend into the foundation or anything like that. So I just prefer to apply it on the foundation brush first and then do it that way. Now I am going to set my skin, so I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Translucent Powder. This is in the shade Butter. And then to set the rest of my skin, I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC35. It's quite funny because I know a lot of YouTubers use like different um, products in like every single video that they do. They use like 
they change up all the products which is good because you know it shows you how different products work and look on the skin and you know there definitely is benefits to doing that but with me I'm absolutely a creature of habit and I just stick to what I love and what I know really works well for my skin but I guess that can also be good for like a viewer as well if you're watching videos you can see how you can use the same types of products to create like many different looks so you can see like a lot more variety with using the same products so now to bronze up my skin a little bit more I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty uh, bronzing powder this is in the shade Shady Biz now I will just quickly finish off underneath my eyes For inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and go in with the shade Glow Up from the Clientele palette. Just pop that right into my inner corners. To contour my skin, I'm going to go in with my Matte Bronze Bronzing Powder from MAC. And then for blush, I'm using the MAC Blush in the shade Talon Glow. This is an extra dimension blush. And then for highlighter, of course, I'm using the Amorizi and Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. This is literally the only highlighter that I use. <laughs> I really should change it up every once in a while, but don't fix what is not broken. Is that the same? I don't know. Sounds right, but not sure. <laughs> For lips, I have a combination of things that I can use. I think I'm going to use the shade Sussexy or Sexy from MAC, but I'm just going to put a lip liner down first. So I'm going to use this one here. It's by the brand Sevy and it's the shade Bear. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the lipstick. It's quite dark. I'm going to mix a little bit of the shade Yash from MAC just over the top. And then I'm going to go in with the MAC Lip Gloss in the shade Fashion Punch. To finish off, I'm going to set my skin using the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Spray. seeing how this makeup look came together and just sitting down with me while I play around with some makeup today. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. And until my next one, I will see you guys later. Bye! Bye.